So in this video I'm going to be changing the, the windscreen on this 2011 Range Rover Sport It's a heated windscreen and uh, the heated element isn't working on a lot of parts of this, the glass so it's getting replaced So as always I've checked the glass Make sure there's no damage to it Took all the stickers off it It's a heated screen with uh, the rain sensor bracket on it as well I've already cleaned this up and uh, the two connections on either side of the windscreen for the heating, the heated screen are stuck to the glass but they're not stuck very down, it's just like a gum that they're stuck down with so what I do is I peel it back, prime it, put some polyurethane windscreen sealer between the, the band and the glass just so that it's not going to leak so once I bond it in, the bond will be over the top and underneath it because I've got a tendency to leak on these Fords, it's quite Ford has got the same same kind of connections on them and I do the same with them so The first thing to do is find how to pop the bonnet I've only been doing the job 20 years I think I know where the bonnet catches So I need to pop off the, the rain sensor cover, rain sensor and rear view mirror cover housing This separates pretty straightforward And uh, the rear view mirror is just a twist on Half turn I'm going to disconnect uh, the rain sensor from the bracket I've got these little plastic clips here Pop that out, pop the two of them out, and then the metal clip it should just pop out like that. And you've just got to be careful removing it because there's a there's a gel pad on the windscreen and it's you've just got to separate the gel pad, keep it on the rain sensor. You can reuse these ones. Careful that it doesn't break away. This one's stuck doing well. These usually come off pretty straight away. That's fine. And I'll just leave that hanging there. It's not going to be any problem. To remove these side trims, just pop this little cover off, and there'll be a screw or a bolt. In behind there, I think it's a about a thirty, about a thirty talk. Just pull on that once it's once the screws out, she just comes straight off. Just make sure that screw stays in position. And just put them to the side. And just disconnect the both heated element terminals tucked away in there. Just quickly check if there's a any height box. So, sometimes there can be a, a locator clip in the top corner. You've got to cut, bust it away before you cut the glass out. This doesn't have any.
Same another side. Just being careful not to get any dirty marks on the the eighth pillar trims the cream cloth. That's why I've took my gloves off. That to the side. Let's disconnect both connections again. That's the interior strip down ready to be cut out. I just need to start on the scuttle and scuttle panel and wipers. Just leave that socket in here. There's one nut cover missing for this. I'll notify the customer of that. Pretty sure it's a 13mm bolt uh, socket uh, nut. Third time lucky. Just flex off. They look okay. I'll just flex the elbow just to release it off the spindle. And I'll just lay them lay left to left, right to right. So I know exactly where they're going to go back on. I've got to remove these side trims next because the scuttle panel goes under the side trim. Just hoping that the there's four or five side trim clips on here it holds the side trim on. It can be quite brittle. I'm just hoping that they've got the the clips all save. I should have some extra clips in my van in case they break. Just in case of getting your tool underneath it, a pry tool, and just Open it off. Ah, clips are breaking. Be careful, just get right into where the clips are attached to the bodywork. Just that bottom clip there that's, that's bust off. Put some new clips on there and I'll be fitting them. A 
and the scuttle panel should just should just lift off, just remove this seal, and this should just have clips in behind it all the way along. And these just pop off. Just like so. Quite clean under there. You looked after that. There's the clip I'm looking for. See if I can remove this top trim. The new windscreen comes with the top trim on it, the top moulding, so I can just cut, take this away. Make it easier for cutting the glass out. Yep, just pull that straight off. And that gives me complete access all the way around the windscreen to cut it out now. As you can see, there's a gap all the way around the windscreen now. Plenty of room there. Good distance away for any bodywork, so I'm just going to cut this out using my Milwaukee multi tool with my Fane super cut blades. I'll just give the, the edge a bit of spray with glass cleaner just for a bit of lubricant because the blade can heat up. It just seems to cut through the glue a bit better with the when there's moisture on it. Really good. It's a good quality polyurethane. That's, this has been fitted with. Put the medium blade on. First blade with a 19 millimeter blade. This one's a medium blade, 25 millimeter. This should actually get right through the polyurethane all, all the way around, apart from the bottom. <laughs> Even the 19 mil blade seems to have got through, but I'm just going to go right round into the Coming away, really, really nice. As you can see, possibly be the original screen that's in this, but the look of the the, the bead, the beady glue looks. Like it's been applied by a robot. Straight and even. So that's the glass cut out. Just got a nice sharp scraper blade, cut the glue back. Just being careful not to gouge into the paintwork. Cut any of the interior trims.
always pushing the blade away from yourself. Once the glue's cut back, you can just give the, give the pinch wheel a brush, clean it up, get rid of any dirt. So that's the windscreen cut out now, cut all the glue back, cleaned it up, so I'm now going to prepare the, the bodywork, I've already done the glass with the cleaner and primer. So I'll just give the, the pinch weld where the, the bond line goes a good clean. So when we, bond, when we prime it and bond it, it's nice and clean, there's not going to be any issues with the bond deteriorating because of dirt. It needs to be 100% watertight. As you can see there's a lot of, a lot of crap, dirt gets, gets under the glass over the years. That just flashes off pretty much immediately. Well, they've done the windscreen. Usually do it at the same time, but I just wanted to get these these heated elements bonded on so they're nice and dry for me when I fit the windscreen. Just apply the, the primer over the old bond line as guidance this will give the, the polyurethane bond proper adhesion when I apply it so it won't come won't come away over time should last the windscreen bond should last the life of the vehicle Unless it starts rusting, which I don't think it will with the looks of things. Let's cover any little scratches of that as well so it doesn't rust. So I'll just apply my windscreen lifters. Uh, it's quite a big windscreen, quite a high windscreen, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lift it in using my, my little buddy Pro. I need to put this window up. Let's give this window a clean. This is where I'm going to be attaching my pivot arm. Just set this up. I 
put the pivot arm on the, the door glass and I'll put this piston arm on the windscreen at certain positions and that's how I'll lift it in place and all that's done the primer's going to be dry now so I can apply the polyurethane bead so just start with the top middle nice high pointed bead nice high pointed v-shaped bead so once the windscreen lifts in it'll push down into place leaving no gaps just follow the old the old bond line for guidance can't go wrong Just about made it with that tube. So once that's bonded up, I'll just go around and tidy up. Tidy up the bond line, join up any joins. Making, it, making sure there's no gaps in the glue for obvious reasons it's just going to leak every stage of the job is just as important as the next if you miss one stage out you could completely ruin the job Just double check this is secure. Let me just let me just hook this piston arm onto the, the swivel. Simply just walk walk around with it. Just make sure you don't dump it into the glue too quick. Just guide it up at one side. Once it's guided up at one side, the other side has to be correct. and just put it up in a place where you think it should be you've got a bit of movement once it's in I've got to just lift this side trim up just to get the glass under then it could be doing we gone that way a wee bit you see this edge here there's a gap of 3 or 4 mil 3 or 4 millimetres I'm going to check it for the other side and that's about the same just making sure that the gaps both same on both sides and that the trim is pulled up high enough just take, check it two or three times if you have to you've also got the the VIN number cut out as a good guide as well to make sure it's aligned properly just got to remove this little buddy I'll stick another couple of bits of tape on it it's quite a heavy windscreen it's fixed in nicely just give it a gentle push in just to make sure it's right into the glue the weight of the windscreen will, will make sure it sinks into the glue but there's nothing wrong with just putting a, applying a little bit of pressure on it it's 
So that's the windscreen fitted. It's just a case of a reversal of the start of the job, just building everything back up. I'm going to have to replace these clips. So that's the, the exterior trim's all built back up. Just need to connect the heated screen up. Pop the trims back on and then I'll give it a check. Make sure that the rain sensor's working properly, the heated screen's working properly. And then that's it, job done. Just reconnect the rain sensor. Push the plastic clip, the metal clips in place first, and then peel these little, tighten up the, the plastic ones. And just bastard. Pops back in place. Yeah, I'm just going to start the engine up. Make sure the heated screen's working. And the rain sensor's working. So everything's been built back up, everything's working fine. Just going to have a quick clean up. Tell the customer not to dry it for one hour. So that's the job done. Rain sensors working, heated screens working. Just have to leave the vehicle for an hour for the glue to dry. Um, and that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.